today I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But we're in cosmic space. And little does my friend Smirky know that I have this one-way glass wall set up. This means I'll be able to see whatever mob he spawns in and spawn the exact counters to them. So, Smirky, are you ready for the mob battle? Yes, I am. And I am totally going to destroy you. Wait, but Cardi, why are my zombies flying? Get out here. Smirky, there is no gravity in cosmic space. Of course, they're going to fly like that and they're even dying because they have no oxygen. Look at that. Wait, that is crazy. I, I didn't know that at all. The only way you can have your mob survive is if you put a space mask on them just like this villager. Whoa, that's actually crazy. I didn't know that at all. But Cardi, I guess I'm ready then. All right, then if you're ready, let the mob battle begin. Let's go. So to start off the mob battle, of course, we are just going to cheat with this massive one-way glass wall and Smirky, what are you going to spawn in? And wait, he's just spawning a bunch of spiders. Did he not learn anything from the start? These guys are literally gonna start suffocating because they do not have space masks on. What is he doing? And look at that. They're actually, the gravity is picking them up right now and they're even suffocating. That is so crazy that they're all dying that fast and oh my gosh. Smirky better spot in something better than that because that is clearly not gonna work. Oh wait, it looks like he grabbed a new mob and he's actually spotting in ravagers now. Oh my gosh, these are so much more powerful than that last mob he spawned. He literally spawned spiders that died. And I'm pretty sure these ravagers won't even suffocate because they're literally half alien and I'm pretty sure they don't even need oxygen to breathe. So we need something super powerful to counter these guys. And lucky for me, I have a ton of cosmic mobs up my sleeve and we're just gonna spawn them all and basically win every single round. So for this first round, I have this thing called a Fluto. And wait, uh, that's the wrong thing. What I actually am gonna spawn is a Fluto queen and look at how big this guy is. This guy is super insane and he is just my first cosmic alien mob. He's also one of the most powerful ones because look at how big his mouth is. He literally has this massive body with these super sharp claws. And I'm just gonna tell you one thing. This guy has some of the most insane attacks in the game. And actually, I wanna show you guys. I'm gonna go in survival mode and hello, mister. Look at that. He just runs over to you. If I go in survival mode near this guy, he literally does insane attacks and I don't even know what's going on. He like threw this pig stuff and now I'm literally floating. What is this? Oh my gosh. I gotta go in creative mode before I die. And oh, I, I was gonna go in creative mode, but that guy is just so OP. So I would say just one of these guys would be powerful enough, but I wanna spawn two just for ultimate chaos destruction. And anyway, Smirky, how is your mob army going? Because I think I might have chose one of the best mobs ever. My army is going perfectly. I mean, it wasn't going perfect at first, but now it is. Wait, so what did you spawn in? I hear like some crazy mobs on your side. It sounds like they're like roaring. Wait, did you spawn in some sort of like ravager? Uh, how do you know? I, I don't understand how you always know, but yeah, that is what I spawned in. Smirky, how many did you spawn in? It sounds like there's only like five there. You gotta spawn in a lot more than five if you were gonna wanna win against my guys. A lot more than five? Okay, I will. Okay, Smirky can't hear me now, but look, he's actually spawning a lot more than five. Look at how many ravagers there are, but I'm actually still pretty confident that my Fluto Queen of Aliens will be able to defeat them. Like, I'm pretty sure even like all 20 of those ravagers can't even be as big as just one of these guys. And just look at that mouth. That could probably eat an entire ravager hole. I think I should be with 100% okay. And also, just before the mob battle starts, just take a look at our environment. We gotta admire this because this is some crazy cosmic space we are in right now. All right, Smirky, so is your army actually 100% complete now? Because I am ready to drop these walls. Oh, yes, it is. Then let the mob battle begin and look at what I spawned in, Smirky. What on earth did you spawn in? I spawned in the crazy cosmic alien Fluto Queen, and they're literally making your ravagers fly. Look at this. What on earth is happening? Cardi, what did you spawn in? This is insane. These guys are even like doing their giant invisibility attacks, and what? They're spotting all these pink blocks. I'm pretty sure poisoning all your ravagers. How is this happening? I don't understand this at all. And wait, Smirky, look at the ground. It's all turning to this big stuff too, and everything is super laggy. Look at all the mobs that are being spawned 
tuned in. Wait, this is actually kind of cool. What the heck is this? Is it safe to go in? Okay, Cardi, don't go in it. This is not safe. Yeah, when you go in, it literally like slows you down. It gives you poison, I'm pretty sure. And wait, all your ravagers are dying. You started with so many more than you have now. I know I started with so many more. And right now I have so many less. Oh, let's go. This is probably the easiest win of my life. My Fluto Queens are just so, so powerful. Oh my gosh. I don't know how you spawn in these things. But yeah, I guess I'll get you back next round. Because I'll spawn something in way better. And I'm pretty sure just like that, all your ravagers have been finished off. You can see their saddles on the floor. That's how you know that I have won. Oh my gosh. You know what? I just reset it. I can't believe this. All right, let's reset the arena. And there we go. I have reset the arena, but do not leave. Because if you thought that last one was crazy, it is only going to be crazier as the video goes on. I have some super crazy cosmic mobs in store. But now that we're on to this second round, I think we should just cheat with this one-way glass once again. So, Smirky, what are you going to spot in? Wait, he's just spotting in zombie pigmen. Why is he spotting in zombie pigmen? He's not even putting the space helmet on them. How does he keep forgetting that these mobs are going to die? We literally have this cosmic space all around us. And yup, just like I thought all of these guys are suffocating from the lack of oxygen. Come on, what was he doing? What on earth happened to all my mobs? Oh, I know what I did wrong. Okay, let me just grab this and let's just get a lot of these. I think I forgot to put on their space helmets. And wait, Smirky actually figured it out. He's gonna have to put the space helmets on all of them, but what is he doing? He's just throwing it on the floor. That is not how you put the space helmet on them. And there he goes. He managed to put the space helmets on every single zombie pigment and now they will actually survive the cosmic space where there's no oxygen. But since he spawned these guys in, I'm gonna have to spawn my own thing in because zombie pigment are actually very powerful. Even though they just have a gold sword, they just do so much damage for some reason. I don't know why they do so much damage. So I think we need to spawn in a super giant buff monster. So what could I spawn? There's this thing called a cosmic mosquito and look at him. He can fly and he has some crazy attacks. One of his arms is actually half gun. That means he'll be able to shoot out a bunch of super crazy attacks, and I'm pretty sure he even has some explosion attacks. So even just one of these could probably kill every single one of those zombie pigmen. But we're not just gonna spawn one. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to spawn in, like, five of these guys. So we got three there. We're just gonna spawn one, two, and there we go. We have all five spawned in. But I really wanna see what these guys' attacks are real quick. I'm just gonna go in survival mode and... Wait, they're all flying and what? They're, like, dashing at me and picking me up? That was so fast. I just died instantly. Okay, these guys are definitely gonna do the trick for me. Smirky, how's your army going? Oh, my army's going perfectly. Right now, I'm uh, kind of testing out a contraption. What, what kind of contraption is that? What? You're just throwing your mobs around. What the heck? You have no idea what I'm doing. What What are you talking about? Oh, uh, Smirky, yeah, I guess you're right. I, I can't even see your stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, anyways, are you ready for the mob battle? Uh, yeah, I guess I am. Okay, then let me get the stuff to drop the walls. And we'll drop him in three, two, one. Let the mob battle begin. And what the heck are these? Look at what I spawned. I spotted the cosmic mosquitoes. And they're just going around and destroying all of your pigmen. Oh, no, that's not good. I can't do my machine now. Wait, sir, do you see how fast that was? They just picked them up and killed them all like within 20 seconds or something. That had to have been one of the fastest mob battle rounds ever in history. And wait, there's still one more left. I know my machine isn't working. It should make them way more powerful powerful, but it's not. Smacky, this is not making them more powerful. Every time you place a pigment on this machine, my mosquitoes just go to kill them instantly. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Like, look at that. That was a chicken <laughs> and it's getting destroyed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's gone now. What on earth? Smirky, you really need to up your game. These mobs are not very good. Oh my gosh. Okay, I might have to up my game then. All right, let's reset the arena. And there we go. Once again, I have reset the arena, but I have my favorite mob in store for next round. So let's see what Smirky's gonna spawn in. And look at this. He's just spawning a bunch of iron golems. Okay, he did actually take my advice for spawning a better mob. And if you're wondering, these guys also will not suffocate in space because they're made out of iron 
and iron does not need oxygen literally at all. So they'll be 100% fine. Now I need to spot in something that is like an iron golem, but, but just a thousand times more powerful. And I think I have the perfect idea. I have this mob called a galaxy golem. And look at this guy. He is super crazy. We're just going to spot a bunch of these guys. And I'll show you their attacks soon. But you can see they have this giant purple block on the back of them, which powers their super powerful galaxy attacks. Like, look at how much bigger these guys are than Smirky's iron golems. And actually, I want to spawn in an iron golem right next to one of these guys so we can just compare their size and wait. Why are they waking up? What? What? That just instantly killed the iron golem. Wait, I gotta spawn more. Do these one-shot iron golems? I did not know they are that powerful. What? And as you can see, they just slam the floor and do so much damage. But since I'm also cheating with this one-way glass, I think it'll be funny to cheat with my own weapons during the mob battle too. So I have this thing called a gauntlet of the guard and I can literally pick up mobs and make them fly and it's gonna be really funny. I'm gonna pick up Smirky's mobs with this during the middle of the mob battle and make them think that the gravity's picking them up or something. And then I also have this thing called a void core, which is just a cool attack that makes this purple stuff come out the ground. I literally just always have the best cosmic weapons to go with the cosmic mob battle. So Smirky, how is your army going this time? Oh, my army's going so good. It is? Wait, I think you spun in iron golems because I hear a bunch of iron like wrestling around on your side. Am I right? But how do you hear iron? It literally doesn't make any noise. Yes, it does, Smirky. Iron has a very distinct sound. And anyways, uh, I, are you building another contract? What is that? Uh, yes, I am. Why? Do you hear the pistons moving? Yes, of course I hear the pistons moving. Smirky, and wait, that was actually pretty cool. I know it was pretty cool. All right, then, if you're ready, I think we can drop the walls. All right, let's go. And there we go. My galaxy golems have woken up, and they're going to go and start killing your iron golems. What are these? Wait, are, these are literally like galaxy golems. They're basically my iron golems. Well, way better. Did you see that attack? Yeah, they literally one-shot your iron golems. And look, the gravity is even picking up your iron golems. That is super crazy. That is actually insane. What the heck is happening? It, what? Look at these attacks my guy is doing. They're doing like these giant purple spikes out the ground. And I don't even think there's a chance you can win this. There's literally four iron golems ganging up on that guy. And he just smashed them all. Ah, let's go. And this one's about to die. And was that the last one? I think the last one just died. It, it, it probably was the last one i don't even have any words for that how did you spawn in a golem mob but like 10 times better you know uh smirky it's pretty obvious it's because i'm spotting in cosmic mobs here's a little bit of advice for you i think you should spawn in your own cosmic mobs and then you might actually have a chance to win okay i will then okay then let's reset the arena and once again we have reset the arena but for this friend i actually told smirky to spawn in a cosmic mob and maybe he will actually have a chance at winning so let's see if he'll take my advice and what he's actually spawning at cosmic mobs look at this this is the cosmic wolf hyena and these guys are super powerful i was actually gonna spawn these guys in because they're super powerful but since smirky did it before me i'm gonna have to spawn something else in so what could counter these hmm i think i have a pretty good idea of what i could spawn this is the cosmic seashell and look at this guy it's basically like a clam thing and it has this giant eyes inside of its mouth and it may not look that powerful but when this thing jumps down it does so much damage damage. And that's not even to mention the crazy gun attacks that this guy has. He will literally shoot a bunch of bullets at all of these hyenas, and they are all just gonna die super fast. So maybe we should just spawn multiple of these guys. Like, there's one there, and I think we're gonna have to spawn in, like, three to defeat all of those hyenas, just like that. But just like we did last round, I thought it was pretty funny how we used some weapons to troll Smirky in the middle of the battle, and he had no idea that it was me using them. So I wanna do the same exact thing for this round. So let me just grab some weapons. So the three weapons I'm gonna grab is to spawn Space Devastation, the Dark Matter Minigun, and even the Daybreak Rocket Launcher. And here are all these weapons. I'm gonna show you guys all of these. So the Space Devastation Sword has these crazy fire attacks that come out of it, and it does a lot of damage. And then we have the Dark Matter Minigun, and this shoots out a bunch of pellets super, super fast, and this will instantly kill everything on his side. And of course, we have the Daybreak Rocket Launcher, and look at this thing. It fires out these massive star explosions out of it, and this is my favorite cosmic weapon of all. So, Smarky, how is your army going? I hear a bunch of barks on your side. Did you spot some sort of cosmic mob like I said to? Oh, uh, 
No, I spotted normal dogs, actually. Wait, you spotted normal dogs? Those are not normal dogs, Smirky. What are you talking about? Cardi, how do you know? You literally only can hear barks, and I told you they're normal dogs. Because why would you spot normal dogs? That would be so stupid. Bruh, are you kidding me? All right, I guess we should just drop the walls. Then are you ready to start the next cosmic mob battle round? Yes, I am, Cardi. Then let's begin, and look at this. What the heck? Is this? We both spotted cosmic mobs, and I spotted the cosmic seashell, which is destroying all your cosmic dogs. How did you spawn in a better cosmic mob than me? I literally uh, just spawned in something I knew would be good. Well, your thing is clearly not good enough because there's also a bunch of bullets raining down from the sky. I don't know how that's even happening. How is there a bunch of bullets raining down from the sky? What the heck is happening? It's literally destroying all my dogs. I think I only have a few left, or I actually have more than a few, but wait, but Smirky, look, there's also a bunch of blue fire killing all your mobs, too. What the heck? What is happening? Wait, the blue fire is gonna do a lot of damage. Get out the way, mister. Uh, your thing just died, Smirky. This is so bad for you, because my cosmic seashells are just destroying your guys. Look, they're shooting out a bunch of shells out of their mouth. Cordy, this is not bad for me. This is horrible for me. Oh, I guess you're right. This is actually super, super bad for you, because if you don't win this, and then if I win the next round, then I completely win the mob battle. Oh, no, you're right. You have two cosmic dogs left, and I don't really think they stay the chance. Smirky can't hear me, but I'm just gonna finish off the last one with this mini gun. And okay, I'm really happy I got all these guns. And look at that. Did you see the last one just died, Smirky? Yes, I saw that. Of course I saw it. I don't even know, Cardi. I think we need to reset the arena and just move on to the last round. You gotta spawn in the best mob you can. Okay, I will spawn in the best mob I can then. And there we go. I have reset the arena, and it's time to move on to the last round. Round. And I wonder what Smirky's gonna spawn in. I told him to spawn in the best thing he could think of. And wait, he's building a little glass dome. I wonder if he's gonna spawn something inside of there. That is actually pretty smart. That means he'll be able to spawn whatever he wants in there. And look, he's just spawning a bunch of mutant hoglins. What the heck? There is barely any room in there for those mutant hoglins. What is he doing? <laughs> this is actually super funny because I know exactly how I could kill these guys. I have a mob that is so big and so powerful that I'll be able to rush through this glass and instantly destroy those hoglins one by one. And it will also destroy the glass domes, meaning the hoglins will die of lack of oxygen. And what is Smirky building? It looks like he's been building this contraption throughout the entire mob battle. Smirky, what are you building on your side? I just hear a bunch of blocks blazing. Oh, I am building something really, really cool. And it's almost done, Cardi. Wait, Smirky, maybe you should test it out. Okay, let me go in survival and let's see if it works. And Cardi, it, it doesn't work. I spent so long building this. Smirky, that was so bad. It didn't work at all. I mean, uh, I didn't see anything. What the heck? You know what, Cardi? This is what I'm gonna do. Wait, you're blowing it up. Oh my gosh. What are you doing, Smirky? Uh-oh, this isn't good. That's gonna blow up everything. Wow. Okay, well, since you've blown up everything, Smirky, I guess I just gotta spawn my mob in. All right, let's go. And I am spawning in the Cosmic Feed, the final Cosmic Monster. Let's go. Cardi, what the heck? That is literally insane. It's freaking the bedrock. What the heck? Smirky, look at this. It is literally destroying the bedrock wall. Look, these cosmic speeds are so insane. Yeah, they are insane. What the heck? How are they breaking bedrock? Ah, it doesn't matter how they're breaking bedrock because they just killed your final hoglet. I definitely was not cheating by spotting in more, by the way. What? Wait, what? Okay, well, I don't know why you'd say that. Anyways, oh, uh, what the heck happened to the wall? Ah, uh, wait, wait. Why is the wall glass? That is really weird. Uh, yeah, it is weird, Cardi. That's not a normal thing. Uh, Smirky, okay. I think since the mob battle's are over, I have to admit something. Oh my gosh, what do you have to admit? Smirky, I, I was secretly cheating the entire time. I had this one-way glass up the entire time, and I was just spawning exact counters to your mobs. Cardi, I can't believe it again. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry for cheating. If you forgive me, I will give you the win, okay? Fine, let's go. Thanks, everyone, for watching the video and please subscribe and click the video on the screen please bye <laughs>